So we got our tunnel here, so that would be the pull off I'd have to park in. Didn't see much parking, don't wanna risk it all. So that's where one spot where I was thinking about going down, not an option. I didn't think it would be from this end. Alright, I got some vehicles pulled off on the shoulder there, which is where I was thinking I want to go. I got some pretty heavy traffic behind me, so I'm going to have to uh, double back on this boy. Let's see how they're doing there. So they got us a... I don't think we're going to be any parking there. We got parking off to the side there. This will be tunnel number three. Uh, right, that was two. All right, so here we are. That's tunnel number two. Sorry for talking too loud. I know it's windy, so I don't want to get drowned out. Parking back behind me. It was a six minute walk from where I parked. We should be able to at least always get parking there. I drove around for a little bit trying to find a better spot, but that's about as best as it got on Saturday. Uh, I rolled up here on Thursday with the pooches, and I don't remember that many cars, so getting off on, a, on an off day or maybe early in the weekend probably wouldn't be a problem. So I got some pretty jaggeds going on down there. I'm gonna get down to that creek. Again, there's tunnel two. I'm shooting most of these on the rinky dink, so in case I fall down, I won't break the, this camera. I got it tucked away in my backpack. It's getting windy. We got a storm. Looks like it may be threatening to come in. There's a lot of people all through here. In fact, if you look up over, what they're coming for is going up and over that peninsula that we're looking at. So apparently, it's got some badass views up there. I may check it out, but that's a uh, that's fun and games. Right now I got some business to tend to. This is Clear Creek. There's the uh, bridge I just uh, broadcast from up there. Best way down was to come across. And right up there is where the Tunnel 2 entrance is when you're heading to Idaho Springs. So I just basically shimmy down that, no big deal. Got some loose rocks. But uh, the attraction is people going up because they're climbing up to the top of that. There's some kind of a trail. I can see them. Every once in a while, their heads will pop out over the top. So we'll have a bird's eye view. Whatever's up there will be seeing us. And then we got uh, these dudes here. They're climbing, but they're, they're going the way the tourists don't know about. So that's the direction I'm going in right there. So I'm just going to walk up that way, find a place to cross this creek because I need to be on the other side. And as you can see here, it looks like river stones all the way up to here. We have this log, this uh, driftwood. So we can see how low the river is at this. The peak season on this will be uh, last week of April, first couple of weeks of May is generally whenever we're going to need to see the peak in it. Cool, check out the... Uh, got some ice. Crossed here. Definitely gonna need boots or water shoes of some kind. Walking stick helps. A lot of moss on the rocks. It's kind of cold too. Get my shoes on and uh, almost there. Bus just came out of the tunnel. We can cross with boots uh, and a hiking stick helps. Rocks are slick because you know they're river rocks. And uh, I'm guesstimating across that spot there, you're looking at about four yards, five yards across. That's clear to creek. Heading up that way. Looking for the Beaver Brook. So we've got a little trail that's running along Clear Creek. I'm coming from tunnel number two entrance, the east entrance. There's our river. Got a trail less traveled. Kind of keep an eye out for rattlesnakes. Avoid walking on shit like that unless you just have to. 
But uh, that's our river there. There is a lot of striping. This looks like granite. This is everywhere. The world torn asunder. And you can see the striping in this when we turn it sideways. And that's just uh, out there in the river. I swear I can't tell us the difference between the sound of a bubbling creek and a growling cougar. But uh, I'm gonna see how much further I can go. But uh, it's pretty cool. We got this little beaver dam thing here. Probably not a beaver dam. This is just sediment naturally collect collecting. You see the branches and trees and the sediment on top of it. There. It just forms a natural dam, I'm sure. It's not deep enough to be a beaver's dam, and you can see the sediment over the top of it there. 
My spotty senses are going off. If you don't hear back from me and they find a body, you're not gonna know to do this, but you wanna see the contents of this camera, I'll be damn sure. It'll be the most riveting, exciting thing YouTube would have to offer. Oh, not like I could hear a cat if it was stalking me, huh? Whoa. What the hell is that down there, dude? Turn this off. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this off.